But when we got to the reception, like, it was just a feeling in the air that no one wanted to actually have a good time. They were all just sitting down. <laughs> Why? They had to Do be people there. dislike the guy? For the most part. That sucks, man. Because I was this in the same boat. I didn't like him, but they're getting married now, yeah. and she's happy, and I'm... You gotta accept that shit. Exactly, accept it, but... Yeah, as long as he... If he's not a bad person. As long as they treat he's each just other like a well. Yeah, he's, like ju- the he's just not thing. the best guy, and he did some stuff a couple years ago that was you know, just... Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but everybody does that. <laughs> yeah. He's a person. <laughs> he's a person, and he's perfectly fine. And she, the, What's most important is that my sister actually wants to be with him, and that she's happy. Yeah. yeah. That trumps everything, but it just felt like everyone was just sitting... There. No one was really drinking, like trying to get into it. And mm-hmm. then my dad re- really flubbed his uh, Father of the Bride speech, uh, pissed her off in it, and then she started crying. No. Yeah. Oh, no. What, what, the, what uh, did he do that was so bad? He, in, he brought the up what, like, the situation. We may not oh. like you, but... Exactly. <laughs> oh. But it was worse. He said, we all wanted to kick your ass, and it was just like, oh, damn. Like, the look on my sister's face, well, well, after those words came out, like, she just, it, it like... Really hurt her inside. Oh, man. I've never seen that, like, man. reaction. I gotta say, I've been to some weddings that are not as good as others, but I've never been to one that was like that. Yeah. Some it would have been embarrassing. I would have just... I would have... If it wasn't my sister, I would have been like, I'm not gonna be here anymore, but, uh... <laughs> I stayed well, why there would you try at that wedding? I, 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 tried, I tried to stay and make like cheer her up mm-hmm. and like try and talk her back onto the dance floor, but no one was dancing. Everyone like left like outside. Not left, but was outside just doing nothing mm-hmm. for like the last two hours of the reception. How does that make her feel? Like, that's it made sucks. her feel like shit, and I got super fucking angry at my parents, which was wrong. I was that's mad at everyone right. in the whole situation. I fucking drove home at 2 in the morning and got to Columbus at 6. Oh, shit. That's I was very angry. So you are just so mad, you're like, I'm I just was going so home. Yeah. I almost made a scene, but I tried so hard to just get away from everyone and do it where the yeah. car was. I started calling a lot of people just trying to... I was, like, crying and screaming and... That's some bullshit. It was awful. I've never... Yeah, I've never been to a wedding that bad. That was the first one I've been to yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I don't think so. And it was my sister's wedding. I've, like, put my foot in my mouth when I made a speech, but I was drunk and everyone expected that. You know what? It's, I, yeah, don't, I don't. Kinda, I don't. A little bit. You know what's happening. My dad wasn't trying. Mind. You're allowed to stick a toe in there. You yeah, know, it, it was not a whole foot. Yeah. It was like a toe. My dad's not, like, physically old, but he's mentally, like, mm-hmm. 90 years old. Like, he's so... He can be so out of touch. And he didn't mean to hurt. He, never he was trying. He was hurt. making a joke. He was trying to make a joke, but mm-hmm. he he did. How did he not know? I mean, there's a world where that joke totally went over well. And that's what I mean, and that's but the if world people he used are to live in. To that, you can't. You know, if it's like, ah, oh, we bust your balls, but we like. It's you, not but like, it's like the like, room. No, He's like he you. just what he was thinking. And this is why it was wrong of him to say it is because he was thinking about something that would make the room laugh. He wasn't thinking about his daughter. The bride. True comedian. <laughs> stick to the craft. I get it. Yeah, stick I get to it. the crowd. Yeah. I get it. No, I, I, I mean, a, yeah. I did a speech yeah. recently. Well, I guess a year and a half ago. But what a, at I a did wedding? like research about it. Yeah, at a wedding. Uh-huh. And what they said was to make sure you can be half funny, but the other half has to be sentimental. Mm-hmm. Like you uh-huh. can't do just all jokes. jokes yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. So, it's hard. That's hard. It was hard, but we did it. And I'll tell you a little bit of advice to take to your next wedding. If you ever have to give a speech again. (laughs) Don't make fun of... Don't mention the thing that everyone already (laughs) knows. It doesn't need to be said. It never needs to be said. That's all I'm going to say. Because everybody already knows it. Everyone already fucking knows it. It's like addressing addressing the, the elephant in the room. But it's like an elephant in the room. That was an elephant like three years ago. Yeah. It's moved on. That elephant's outside the room now. He sent a card. He brought the elephant <laughs> banging into the room through the wall. That's he what brought, he did. He summoned the elephant. He summoned the, the elephant. 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 Summoned like yeah. Jumanji style to just come right through the wall. Did you see the Jumanji, Jumanji trailer? That's not Jumanji. Yeah, yeah but it's a Jumanji sequel. That's, that's, a, uh, that's a movie. That is about stuff, but someone decided to call it Jumanji. Do you want to know something that you guys yeah. may not like? What? I think Jumanji is not a very good movie. What? <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen it. I mean, I loved it as a kid because I it's almost like a, it. I liked it a spectacle. A kid, but I don't... 
Jumanji and Hook are two I don't think aged very well. Jumanji's mm-hmm. still great. I don't no, know what you're talking I don't about. Like it. I, I don't. I can't really I say like how I feel about this because <laughs> it's been too long since I've seen either of those movies. Dude, watch Jumanji again. It's still a good movie. Who is the girl in that? Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten yes. Dunst. Yeah. I don't know who the kid is. I was imagining the girl from Jurassic Park. Well, you, they essentially look, the same they character that they're playing. Kind of the same. Yeah. Like, the same. It could have. It could have been the same. Well, oh, he's like the way. What? Her little brother looks. Yeah, I guess he's like a dark. He does look like kind of like a. They but, and he turns did they the, copy Jurassic Park? Is that what they did? It's essentially Jurassic Park. <laughs> now that I'm, I did, I haven't really hypothesized this, <laughs> much, but like, well, not the plot, just like that dynamic. But it is yeah. kind of a, a. Yeah, it's like it's the older these, it's the older man well, leading these two uh, siblings. I feel like those danger. characters like serve as the audience a lot of the time to like the reactors. Reactors yes, yes. in the scene to the thing, and yeah. kids often What's are that? used for that because, like, they're they're more uh, helpless. They, yeah, they and they don't they the, can't grasp their yeah. mind. You know, wrap yeah. their head around the situations as well. There's a rule in Hollywood. It's like if it works, copy it. Like, sure. or if it, if it works, do it again, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Because it's like mo- making movies isn't a science. Like, not uh, no oh, making is movies a is a science. I shouldn't have said yeah. that. Getting people to show up to the movies is always mysterious to anyone. You can make a good movie and then all of a sudden no one shows up. So if something works, like a lot of people showed up to uh, like Jurassic Park, people who are making movies are like, let's try and not rip off the movie, but like do things that they did that get people to show up again that they're familiar with. Yeah, I mean that's what's happening only now. Well, Well, yeah. All the trailers I saw for fucking Spider-Man, almost every single one of them was like a fucking, whatever, yeah, it's reboots. Yeah. And fucking... Like was it like a Guardians of the Galaxy style, like get them hook them with the, no with no, the no comedy and the charm and like the, the trailers. I'm saying like the trailers accompanying the movie. That mm-hmm. all, oh oh, we're all spin Sorry, sorry. All I thought you were talking about the movies about Spider Man. No. Oh no no no. 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 Uh, when they are, but yeah. that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like all the movies that are coming out are, are fucking spin-offs. adaptations are fucking like. Uh-huh. Just like Baby Driver was completely original. That's what I'm that saying. Movie, like it's it's nice now. It's like, but it's like, oh, it's all it is now. And yeah. I I feel had a lot of feelings because of Spider Man and about Spider Man. That like, so you didn't like it, is what I'm guessing. I mean, spoiler, not especially. Yeah. It was yeah. fine, but yeah. it was like it was same with like Wonder Woman. It was fine. Numbers did. Are we I haven't seen right Wonder Woman. Yeah. Okay. Recording. And uh, Wonder like, Woman was yeah. like, it wasn't. There's no part of that movie that's gonna make you be like, mm, not good. But there's also it's there's also like, it's a movie that just doesn't. Wonder Woman. It just doesn't go above. Really, I, I've always heard really good things. The about thing it. is, no, I'm not trying to say it's yeah. a bad movie. I I watched it last night. It yeah. was a really decent movie. Mm-hmm. It's just all these superhero movies are now putting you in this mood of expecting like this greater thing. Yeah. It's like it, no one talks about it, but like you just feel it. Like each superhero movie is gonna be a better thing that you haven't not. seen before but they're all the same they're all the same like, that's pretty much what I took away I think yeah. I, Spider-Man I, cause, because of how much Spider-Man has like been in my life yeah Batman and Spider-Man you know like yeah. it's yeah. just one of those things Batman like, and Spider-Man even Batman Potterman yeah <laughs> <laughs> Pitterman P- Pitterman Pitter Patterman yeah. uh, cause that's the sound he makes when he's it sounds like P- like a Peter Pan character Peter but, Pan like, he's no it's Pitter it's Pitter Patterman, Pitter Patterman, Pitter Patterman. <laughs> but but he his superhero was Pitter sneaking, Patter sneaking, man. sneaking around and leaving no trace. <laughs> yeah. Pitter Patterman, <laughs> and all the other villains are just like dismiss him, like they they joke about him and they like beat him up at school because he's like terrible. And yeah, because he's, he's awful. Like, and he just doesn't. like a drama kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is what Sp- Spider Man would be in real yeah. life. Uh, uh, but uh, boy. Yeah, what was I just, saying? Well, just Spider-Man. So well, it was, yeah, very by the numbers, and... Um, mm-hmm. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not surprised anymore, but it made me... The, what, it was the last Spider-Man, with because I had these expectations, I... It was kind of the last... Is is there going to be another Spider-Man movie I, before I mean, I the think, Infinity War? No. No, no. They're already recording, or recording, filming. Yeah. <laughs> filming. And Infinity all of War. this, it's like, I think I'm just reaching, maybe I'm just reaching an age where mm-hmm. I'm like... Becoming less like and who, less who gives a shit into mm-hmm. it, yeah, and because of because of how much it's been, it the used country, to be special to see a fucking Batman movie. Yeah, now yeah. it's like expected. Yeah, 
You know, and like when the yeah. Dark Knight came out, it was like it was my like, mind oh. was like cracked in half. Yeah, and like never the same. I was right yeah. there with you, man. And it's like the country was. I can't. It's like it's like you know I'm chasing the dragon. You know, yeah. like they say. Yeah, like, so, yeah, your first hit of that good yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. is never gonna be. Yeah. You're never well, gonna get it. I again. completely agree. Actually. And the Dark Knight is that fucking unless the stickiest of the icky. My yeah. first. <laughs> <time. laughs> <Smoking weed. laughs> you know, like. <laughs> that's what it is because you oh, it, for, sure, it, it's, for me it is because I have such a fucking emotional attachment to movies that I'm being uh, really let down nowadays. I think the whole country is in this like Dragon Ball Z stage oh, where we're all we all like Dragon Ball Z hold on this thing froze uh oh all oh, I did was close out of my notes oh it's still going uh it, okay it's sorry still going. Oh, it just like shit. the feed like stuff I had a tootsie moan I wonder well, why don't you go do a save well, <laughs> we're like 10 minutes in let's hold on it. let's pause it real let's quick let's do a pause yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. My name is Michael. I'm Andrew. I'm Drew. And was it your pick? It, it was, was my pick. pick. Yeah. Uh, and we're sorry about the delay. It's we we missed a whole. Let's call it a two week sabbatical. sabbatical. We needed yeah. it. We it's all okay. had needed. To do. I went on vacation. I went skydiving, and then I moved. And you died skydiving. Yeah, that was crazy. And I think so we had to take back. time off. Andrew had to go to a wedding, as you yes. heard, uh-huh. and Drew was on vacation too. So yeah. And I quit my job, so yeah. yeah. And no now more. we got more free time. Now we have more free time, and you <laughs> pick the only day that I actually have something else to do to record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this, so yeah, it was my pick. I picked yeah, the Silence of the Lambs. Uh, El Silencio, D. What's lamb? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't even Lambo. know how. That's all. I think Silencio, Silencio, and. Um, Cerveza is the only Spanish that I know. Cerveza? Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Cerveza? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Si taco. Si senor. Let's yeah. see, si senor. Uh, do this you know the number this five? This is a really... You know the number five? That's I'm, I'm doing a bit right now. I'm doing a bit. But that it's not a good <gasps> bit anymore because, you know, <laughs> Trump's America and shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> balls it's very, and stuff. It's very... I mean, I was getting Soft offended. color. I was getting offended. I know. Already, sorry. You didn't know Spanish. Because it's, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, so... <laughs> The okay, so this movie is one of the, you're when we were doing the quiz, you were like, I wasn't sure if you'd seen this movie or not, or wanted to see it because of how scary it was. Mm-hmm. I this is a scary movie, but there's you never actually really see anything that's that scary. Well, no. then what? Why is it scary? Wait, we should do uh, a synopsis. A synopsis. A synopsis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, a synopsis I'm, is I'm actually. Prepared. Do you want to do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. So we start. Four sentences. Clarice is a FBI agent in training, yes. and she is called on to a uh, case. Big case. A test a that requires media, her a, innocence. Yeah, a, a case that has <laughs> yes. already garnered a lot of media attention. Mm-hmm. In the hunt for a serial killer known as Buffalo Bill, mm-hmm. she has to get information from another serial killer who's also a renowned psychiatrist. In custody. Uh, Hannibal Lecter. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, it goes really well. <laughs> end of, end of synopsis. He does, he does <laughs> actually give her bits of information along the way. Yes. That help them get closer to Buffalo Bill. But in the end, he is able to trick them into letting him out of, well, giving him a chance to escape custody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Lowering the security. Yeah, and Clarice is led to Buffalo Bill's home while the rest of the FBI is led to another location. Which Classic. Is, which is one of my favorites. Fate switch. That, that shot where she's at the door... Ringing the bell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the the um, it's it's the mailman or pretendy like cop who's pretending to be a mailman yeah. ringing the door, and you see it, it cuts to downstairs, and you know that the doorbell of the guy's house is being rung. Yeah. But then when he gets to the top, he opens the door and it's Clarice, and it's like, <gasps> she's oh, alone. oh shit! Yeah. The movie did this a lot. Like uh, when Clarice is remembering her father, she's walking to like a car or walking through a funeral home, and all of a sudden it cuts to. 
the shot of her being a little girl instead of her own age. Mm-hmm. And it's just oh, like, yeah, it's a like a very, yeah, it's a very yeah, yeah, even, yeah. like the way they set it up, because yeah. you see her looking at the coffin, her looking at the coffin, and then the next time it goes to her, she's the kid. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. just interesting how they how they do that. And you don't really notice when it's happening mm-hmm. until, oh, okay, this is a premonition, or not a premonition, but like a memory. Yeah, it's whatever. rather seamless, and it seems, I think it's yeah. like a really... Uh, clever storytelling yeah, and she characterization does tactic for home. Clarice because it's really more about Clarice than anything. I mean, is, almost yeah. this whole movie is from her point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, there's even a lot of shots that are are literally her POV, like that. Yeah, the most mm-hmm. famous shot of yeah. Hannibal Lecter just looking straight into the camera, like mm-hmm. right at the beginning of the movie. Well, there was a that's, lot of that. That was like I feel like that's like the most. Uh, I don't know, used shot, uh, but like it long, yeah. long shots of like straight directly into your face is very mm-hmm. intense. Yeah, because a lot of it is in conversation. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of this movie oh, is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean the way they did the last one too, when she's actually telling the sounds of the lamb story mm-hmm. or whatever, like the look on his face, the lighting, the the how his face just fills every inch of that frame is. Yeah, is awesome. I saw a thing that was talking about the production of the movie and in the, the last, like the last section when he's in the cage, yeah, the last cage mm-hmm. he's in, whatever that he climbs out of. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. That's in, is yeah. that in Memphis? I think so. Yeah, it's like in a was that a basketball court? Yeah, it was like yeah. some gymnasium kind yeah. of thing. Like Which that. honestly, it seems like fairly like. Is if they had more guards, it would be a good plan. Yeah. You put the guy in a cage in the middle of a gigantic open room. Yeah, he can't grab shit. Like, he can't, anything. and if he even got out of the cage, you can kill him. Yeah, but they, he's, got, he's got to run. They only had two guards, and they both went into the jail cell at the same time. Yeah, bad yeah. idea. <laughs> well, but about that cage, they there was a custom-built um, um, cell because it... It, the bars fit their face and their eyes fit perfectly. Oh, fit through, better yeah, between because yeah. if that if the bars are actually as close together as they normally are, oh. it wouldn't look right. Yeah. So that's a custom build. But also nice. that I've been just kind of thinking about this. I kind of thought about it during the movie of Batman. But I feel like Joss Whedon is making a Batgirl movie. I feel mm-hmm. like he should just really just copy and paste. Yeah. Wow. I feel like he should just copy and paste this movie. This Sounds movie. Glimpse. Yeah. That'd be interesting, yeah. Like because it's essentially that's a, it's a, Batman and, and Batgirl and all of those. They're all detectives. They're detectives. Yeah. yeah. So how awesome! Would like, that why be not actually? just like pretty much? Because Hannibal Lecter's just the Joker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he already does. He's already done plenty of. Well, things. he's the Riddler, and you're trying to catch the chip. No. No, no. You don't give Batgirl the Joker. She just gets. You know, you can't start out with catching the Joker. Yeah. yeah. And also, that's true. Joker is not the nemesis of Batgirl necessarily. Who is? Other people. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. People. Her villains well, it's, were Batman's I mean, ba- it's not necessarily that. They're not going to just make her the sidekick, you know. Yeah, it's true. Whatever. But, yeah, I'm sure know, that Joss Whedon some, or some, got some plan. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's such a big canon of fucking yeah. weird characters you can choose from that aren't the fucking mm-hmm. basic ones. Yeah. But I think it'd be cool. The Marshmallow Fiend. There are some crazy weird ones, especially <laughs> when you get back in the early, like the 60s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, I was thinking about that. That, the, the part... When she first meets Hannibal Lecter and she's going down the row of inmates, mm-hmm. like jail cell bars, metal bars, metal bars. And I, I get really like the, that part because the, they the show glass. you all the different types. Well, not all of them, but a lot of different types of extreme psychosis. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. then you see Hannibal Lecter. And then you see Hannibal yeah. Lecter like, like perfectly still yeah. behind like this well-lit glass. Yeah. And you're like, this definitely is the special. Like, out of, or, This guy is special mm-hmm. because of his surroundings or whatever, but also... That dangerous because you can't even let his hands through the bars. Otherwise, you're going to fuck him up. But or he's going to fuck you, you up. You can get some fucking jizz thrown on you. From someone else. Well, yeah, yeah, but like that guy, why didn't he have a fucking special cage? So he couldn't eh, throw jizz on probably people. Probably the first time. have that many people come. He said. <laughs> he said uh, well, the guards, said, I no, guess the guards just the beat the shit out of him. Yeah. They said in the beginning that she was the first girl to be in there in like eight yeah, years yeah, yeah. or whatever. So I actually dude was like excited. Yeah, he's I like a fucking monkey. I yeah. didn't take so fucking that trendy. many notes, but for Hannibal Lecter, who, you know, I'm not going to try to guess what he's really thinking, but we can say he's probably highly intelligent, although oh, psychotic. I think if anything, sure. we can say he's but the most intelligent. For him, he's probably led such a monotonous life for like a decade. Yeah. And so for Clarice to show up, someone that he 
almost immediately seems kind of like impressed by yeah. and at least interested in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to him in a very long oh, yeah. time. Yeah. You can tell yeah. because he not only lets her come back, yeah. but he the whole time he's actually like he enjoys the conversation. Yeah. And he's not trying to destroy her like he does every other person he's talking to. Well, because mm-hmm. if she doesn't come back, then he's bored again. Yeah, that yeah. too. He's making it against what well, he makes it a game, and also he's trying to make mm-hmm. he's trying to manipulate her so he can get the upper hand so he mm-hmm. can do what he inevitably does. He insults her shoes like three different times though. Or on yeah. three different occasions. It's a total it's that. a total uh fucking love. What's it what's a a neg? Yeah. Total yeah. neg. What's, yeah. what's that fucking guy? No, that's that fucking the, the, the pickup pick artist. artist, that yeah. fucking douchebag. <laughs> Uh, before neg. we get off topic, the the cage that he's in in the asylum, yeah, with the clear like plexiglass instead of bars, that yeah. was like an idea I think the director came up with. I was about to say it's a good idea because, because yeah, I mean, you that's get more like iconic. almost there is no. Separation. It's been replicated over and over again too, yeah. like yeah. fucking in all of the superhero movies. Yeah. Uh huh. It's great. It's um, the fact that like you don't have to shoot through bars. You don't have yeah. to see this like chopped up version. Well, that makes yeah. a lot of sense because they'd made a custom. Yeah. Uh, sell too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For and those shots. Yeah. I like that all the other psychotics are in the shadows, and then you see like and you see him just he's, well yeah. ass lit. Yeah, like, it's like he probably lives in that amount of light anyway. Like yeah, because he is fluorescent. He's a star. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, really, <laughs> yeah. that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, like he's sure. a fucking. It character. says so much. Yeah. He like, has right off the bat in his smile and like his posture. Just right off the bat, he's like center stage, basically. Like yeah, he, exactly. He's, he's so, putting on. He's so ready to do this like performance because that's what he's yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what it's do, he's doing a performance because mm-hmm. he's a fucking psycho killer. Now mm-hmm. I got confused because I've only seen this movie twice now. The when he sends her to go to that um, that like warehouse or like that. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Garage thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, uh, yeah. Storage. The storage room. unit. And she finds a severed head in there. He Hannibal Lecter says, "I didn't kill that person." But mm-hmm. uh, Buffalo Bill did, right? Yeah. And that the person's head was lovers with Buffalo Bill a long time ago, or whatever. I got that much from several conversations. But if Buffalo Bill killed him and put him in there, how did the fuck did Hannibal Lecter know that that was in there? Buffalo Bill was his patient. Mm-hmm. So I maybe, thought the person in the jar was the patient. Well, or maybe no, they I were think, both his patients. I think Buffalo he Bill mentioned was. this person. I'm really unclear like, on that. On the, I, I am. I've always been kind of unclear on the their. Yeah, he meant he mentions that this patient whose head was cut off in the jar or whatever that he his you know his therapy was going nowhere. He was kind of a like you know a help like just who cares kind of person. Yeah, but he had an interesting friend. I think he said. And uh, he mentions, like, all this stuff about him, but I still don't know how. Because I don't think Buffalo Bill was his patient. but Or maybe he was. I maybe guess that's, that's, exactly. what, that's what I was under the impression. But maybe he was, actually. That, maybe I he think was. That that's, maybe I that missed, was their, that's why they... Never mind. Maybe I missed that part. But, yeah. What how the, else would Buffalo... Or, uh, the head in the jar the was always yeah. something I'm not... I don't know. Yeah. Because, I mean, if Hannibal killed him, I thought... The first time I saw it, I thought Hannibal just killed him. But... Now I'm starting to real. I now realize that Hannibal knew about this, all this other stuff that he wasn't involved in, hmm. and that's why he had this information to give so that they could find Buffalo Bill, because he knew the name and the fucking house and the goddamn, mm-hmm. you know, the complete description of Buffalo Bill, but yeah, because he was his patient. Exactly. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was all from the case file though. Like the first time I saw the movie, I thought it was all from Clary's giving him that giant packet. Him reading about Buffalo Bill, and then yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody in real life would actually this would actually happen because I know this is a movie. Yeah, I mean, they're based on multiple serial killers. Yeah, but they're all lumped into one. But I'm saying, like, I don't think that unless they do. I mean, I guess they would. I guess go Mm -hmm. to someone like this in this fashion. But I feel like Mm -hmm. it just wouldn't. Well, I mean, this is a movie. That's what I'm saying. I'm just I'm yeah. only bringing up all this detail because this movie is is so well put together. I'm just yeah. lost and I think it's my fault. I'm, like, I do I in my I always get lost Buffalo Bill like that, was yeah. at least details. Yeah. Uh Lecter's patient for a short time. Because it yeah. kind of makes sense if he was treating this one guy and yeah. then his partner was even more disturbed yeah. Lecter might be like we'll bring him in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then maybe that he only sense. met with him a few times and he just knew him because of, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But he was just so assumed. good at analyzing people, he got all this information very quickly. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Um 
Yeah, and Ted, is it Ted Levine, or who plays Buffalo Bill? I was just uh, Ted Levine sounds right. Yeah, uh, he yeah. does such a good job. <sighs> yeah. Like that, I think he, I mean... Every, Did anyone ever forget? No. no, I mean... Anthony Hopkins. Wow. Jody no, Foster. supporting. Supporting. Jody Foster, no. There's Jody leading. Foster's supporting. Jo- no, 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 jo- no, no, no. Jody leading Foster. actress. Oh, actress. Yeah, I guess it's a separate character. Leading actor, leading actress, supporting actor, supporting I don't supporting think he's actress. a... No, he didn't win shit. Really? Not a well, Oscar. Well, in the... Should've. So Oscar's we should talk shit. about this. This is what they won in the Academy Awards. <laughs> yeah. Even though you just said they're bullshit. <laughs> well, they uh, <laughs> all right, so best actor, Anthony Hopkins, best actress, Jodie Foster, yep. best adapted screenplay, Ted Talley, um, director, Jonathan Demme, mm-hmm. best picture... It and then it was nominated acting. for Best Film Editing and Best Sound Mixing. So, so well, one no, five. Ted Levine wasn't nominated. It's like a, some kind of record. Like, there's no... Or dark or dark. Dark, dark or dark. dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dark, 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 dark. Because it's a horror film. It's like the only one to win. Well, but like getting the sweep of all of them is like the a, a very ones. limited... And very few of one group, Best yeah. Picture, I think. This best might be the first best one picture, that won Best Picture, Best Director, picture. and Best Leading Actors. Like, uh, wow. Totally off topic, but I just heard something, something where uh, Trey Parker was talking about how mm-hmm. uh, they've won... A, an Oscar, uh, uh, a, a, or he won't need to win an Oscar. He needs to win something. He uh-huh. got a Tony, oh and a yeah, fucking whatever and a whatever. But if he you got get, a Tony and Emmy, uh, Golden Globe probably. No, well, but like talking about the, in uh, film, in music, and in uh, to stage. You are talking about the thing from oh. Thirty Rock? I don't know. Music. He referenced stage, a word, a phrase. Music stage. So a Tony, a film. Grammy, and a, an Oscar. Yeah, I guess is. Mm-hmm. The highest in each of those categories, and they have two. Yeah, and he wants to get so that. Yeah, whatever. Good. I guess they got a Tony for um, Book of Mormon. Mm-hmm. Same with uh, uh, Grammy same with for Grammy. the soundtrack, probably. And so maybe they just haven't won an Oscar. Oh yeah, they definitely haven't won an Oscar. Well, yet. do they? It's called the EGOT. An EGOT. Um, yeah. EGOT. Is Emmy, getting Grammy, a Oscar, and Tony. Wow. Uh, Who has them? <laughs> qualifying <laughs> award summary. Oh, an Emmy for TV too. Okay, uh, so they have a they have one for TV probably for sure. Emmy, Tony, and Oscar. Yeah, most of these people are not people you would think of, but I think they found a lot of it comes from people that write songs. Yeah, because yeah. one song could actually be yeah. easily. Yeah, you know, like but they would be categories. like a true one because oh, yeah, they've just they like actually, mastered yeah. the entire craft of storytelling. Yeah. Mel Brooks oh, yeah. has done it. Uh-huh. Mel Brooks makes really? sense because mm-hmm. the producer. I didn't know he had yeah. an Oscar. What, did he get what do you mean? He got a... And For what movie? A so best Rising writing Saddles, story Frankenstein? and screen, Young screen Frankenstein, play. maybe. Hold on. Okay. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> I'm just you sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> best <laughs> writing story and screenplay written directly for the screen, The Producers, in 1968. Yeah. Producers. The Producers. I... Yeah. Have you ever seen that Never one? That's that. Zero Mostel and Gene Wilder. I've seen I, the, I know they remade I've it. I've seen the... But so they remade song. it as a musical. So The Producers is about producers that are making a musical. Oh, yeah. Then they remade it as a stage production that is a musical itself, mm-hmm. and that was with like Nathan Lane. Yeah, I think yeah, the first Lane, uh, uh, Matthew Broderick. Yeah, yep. and then yep. then they made a film adaptation of that stage production. Mm-hmm. So sweet. Yeah, it's That's great nice. though. I love Mel Brooks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love Mel I Brooks can't. too. I just I was thinking I was picturing like uh, uh, it's good to be king. You know those kind of movies. Well, fucking Robin yeah. Hood Men in Tights. Robin Hood Men. I mean, in that's tights. later. Mel Brooks, but, but I mean, Spaceballs. I mean, like, Spaceballs, Mel Brooks. And he like, is a, uh, he, that's later Mel Brooks, though. King I mean, he world, is a is fucking that... important comedian. I mean, he is maybe the most important. No, I, I completely comedian. agree. It's just, I was thinking Oscar, and I was not, th- there's never been a comedy. Well, you don't have to get a to fucking best win picture. Oscar. I'm just saying, you win the award. Any it could Oscar, be for yeah. directing, writing, or whatever. I know. So, you know. I, it just, I'm just explaining it. You cool it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh-huh. yeah, I thought that's awesome. But yeah, it's fucking. Uh, yeah. They, How do we start talking about this? Because uh, uh, Sounds of the Lambs won five Oscars. Won five oh, Oscars. okay, including like the big ones. Yeah, yeah, and we were talking about Ted Bundy's performance, right? Ted, <laughs> Ted, Ted Mosby. What's his name from Ted Levine? Ted Levine. <laughs> How I Met Your Mother. What's his name? Uh, Ted uh, Mosby, right? But he's um, from here. We uh, when we were when I was watching this movie the first time, I was in like a hotel room, and I got super into the part. Where she's in the dark and it's like night vision. She's like looking. Well, yeah, for, that is the climax. That's the yeah. complete climax of the. Well, I'm not saying like I wasn't into the rest of the movie. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I struck, was finally into I was it like the last so ten minutes. Confused 
about why... I mean, it was an interesting, compelling, and, like, really scary scene, but I was so confused why he just stood there and watched her. Well, A, I'm going to say, is because that they're using night goggles, night vision, just for, like, tension. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. also, he's a fucking creep. And he's, yes. like... Yeah, like yeah, psychosexual well, yeah, I mean, fucking they, weirdo. They also, they show that, like, where he's, yeah. like, about to touch, touch her face. Yeah. Like, well, maybe there's times. even, because he's already been known, like, his modus operandi is to capture women yeah. and keep them for a while. Uh-huh. Maybe even maybe though he, he doesn't there. fit all of her qualifications, he's thinking, maybe yeah. I can yeah. capture this one. Yeah. Instead of just but that's it. why he let her in. It does in just, place. it does serve as, like, a tension building moment. It is, yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. If you look at the nuts and bolts of it. The, when she kills him, which is great, I love that. Like he, she hears the gun click. It's yeah. like expl- Like you all yeah. see, they're both. Yeah. But uh, of, she the accidentally fire. shoots open the window. Yeah. Which if she hadn't done that, think of how much scarier it would have been. Oh, I know she <laughs> didn't know that he was dead, and like yeah. she had to try and reload Convenient. that scene. Yeah. Woo! But it was a scary scene. I didn't realize she shot open a window. I thought like I never knew where that light was coming from. Yeah, he had all the windows boarded up. It was the windows boarded crazy. up. Yeah. She saw, she I thought he shot was shot really in the ground. Like that's just like ba- it's just like just the basement. Little, it's a weird yeah. fucking little. I mean, I this is a story that I don't know if it's true, but my friend Emilio in high school, mm-hmm. he claimed that his grandmother's house was looked at as a potential location for this the filming of this movie because oh, this was actually oh someone's weird, yeah, like yeah. an old farmhouse. I think would have more a well. likely would yeah. have a well. Would have a well, yeah. And uh, also much larger basements because they would use it for cold storage. Mm-hmm. So where was it yeah. filmed? In Ohio somewhere. Really? Yeah. Oh, Interesting. Yeah, I forget. Actually, like there was. A, did you try to find the house? There I'm was sure a, you could um, just like look it up. And, yeah. Yeah. Or it's not there. A little anymore. factoid in the not. I don't know if this is a fact, but they stated it as if it was a fact in the movie that there's only three hospitals in the country, at least during the time of this, that did transsexual operations, mm-hmm. and one of them was supposed to be Columbus. Hmm. Uh, yeah. The Columbus Hospital. One really? I was like, oh, is they that true? That? They said it. I, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since I watched it, and I still don't remember those details. It was like, it was like sure Chicago, was like, and then they said a random one, and then they said Columbus. That makes sense. Columbus was the third one, and I was so like, So this Whoa. is a pretty uh, uh, liberal, yeah. forward-thinking place. Yeah, yeah and it's especially we have, like, a research university. Yeah, I think that might have been it. Yeah. So many fucking hospitals. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's I don't a lot true. more now. You know what? I was going to just quote... Start like spouting facts from another podcast, but I'll just do a hair plug. <laughs> okay. The this podcast Sawbones about medical history did a really good episode recently on um, uh, on the history of transgender people, mm-hmm. and it was really good and educational. It's and, like yeah. forever. Yeah, it, it was good, and I don't want to ruin. They they should get all the credit there. Yeah, so just go listen. That's a to good. That. Uh, yeah. What yeah. do you mean forever? <laughs> it's been happening. I mean, it, like since like you know, oh, oh tried, you meant like, you meant that. Being uh, a, I see, like, yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. And then a lot, a lot of the time, like in in native, like Native American, I native read American, about that. And they that call was like the most holy people. Interesting thing to be because yeah. they have like two spirits. Yeah, that was the coolest thing. Yeah, when I like I used but, to in school read like that's what, uh, we fucking killed them for a reason. No, I'm not, <laughs> not gonna say that. But it is it is that thing. Like no, but it would imagine come out. if that kind of thinking was like part of a, a American thought. You know. Mm-hmm. It would have been. We killed the only grave. thing. No, we. I mean, we. Well, fucking whatever. White people killed the fucking. Well, here, well, there's another thing. There's another side of that. Also, like, yes, sure. they were looked at as like these holy things. They but were killing they, and fucking wild. Yeah, maybe they too. just maybe they just spouted bullshit. They weren't like. Yeah, actually, maybe they were. Maybe it's, they were. it's it's cool that they had a place in that society, like a very important place. But at the same time, they didn't know. What the gods were saying to them. So uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. There's but, that. Uh, yeah, there's that. Grass like, is always greener, I guess. But yeah. still. Yeah. What I'm mm-hmm. saying is. Yeah, that's they would have heard that Christians would have heard that mumbo jumbo, and mm-hmm. fucking slung them up. Oh, they did. Yeah, they so, I mean they did. They certainly did. They certainly yeah, did. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now, but we gave them casinos. It's cool. What was uh when Hannibal Lecter was rev- like reviewing uh, Buffalo Bill's file? Yeah, he was saying that like he was like uh, he he was trying to be something else. Mm-hmm. But he he wasn't a transsexual. He thought he was a transsexual. Yeah, Did I was, say I was going bus- to skirt around this topic, but uh, the film has been uh, dated, dated, <laughs> and I think is under like criticism from like the LGBTQ community because of their like improper portrayal of transgender. No, but that's but what I he think- was saying. He's saying he wasn't a transgender. He yeah. just thought he was, and like he was like a million other. 
mm-hmm. amalgamation. Uh, yeah, of stuff. he kind of like made up his own yeah. diagnosis. Exactly, exactly. but it is yeah. still it, it is still like when you think of like the way he's acting, gender characters in how movies, rarely they've been and how rarely they've been. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, by the positive. I think they're probably right? upset until recently. That he's yeah. in his basement, like trying on women's clothes, and like. And he's a killer. I think they're. But probably think upset of about the that, other one. That big one that comes to mind is fucking kind of psycho, uh-huh. too. Yeah. And but that's a whole. That's a different thing. But it's not also. Yeah. It's not. He's no. He's not a transgender. But he dresses psycho. as his mother, and he yeah. thinks that's some. But that's Freudian the, dude. But that is exactly. But it's, it's all. It's all kind of in the same mm-hmm. realm. Yeah. And I'm saying if that happened today, it would be treated differently, just because. Oh it's yeah, a, this movie couldn't different come out thing. Today. It could fine. But no, 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 I don't know. They would have to do some. They would have they to would do change. some. They'd have annoying to annoying changes. changes. Yeah. yeah. So they would do some very annoying changes. Yeah. Well, like, they. You know, I mean, they're not going to remake it. I know. I, did. I don't know. Uh, well, they tried to basically I by making three different will. versions of like the same movie. Well, well they made I mean, that. What were those? Uh, ne- uh, Hannibal. Uh, what's a? Oh, those, those. Hannibal. I remember being good. I just remember the guy eating his brain. Yeah, that's what I remember too. Which maybe that means it wasn't good. But there was. What are those movies with Morgan Freeman and um, one of Seven. the Judds, Ashley Judd? What? Bone. Seven, kind of, too. The Bone Collector? Bone Collector, and there's another one, Along Came a Spider or something like that. Yeah, those all came All around. those, Seven is kind of in that same... Seven is... Is this, kind is of. Seven is a, on par well, with this, seven but is not as good. Good. I would say Seven has held up. But, I, but yes. like, yeah. Yes. Not The Bone Collector. Yeah, <laughs> but I just think that this movie kind of... And these were later, but I think this movie kind of started a, a genre, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. dark, gritty detective with like a weird like. Fuck yeah, that, it's like, like new, angle. like neo noir, noir. neo noir. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a exactly, good. Yeah. yeah, I hate those like neo hyphenate things, but that it, that's <laughs> yeah. it, it works. Yeah, 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 yeah I guess that is what it is. is. But it's always the same color. Everything is those dark yeah. shadows. Think of mm-hmm. every fucking. Almost every uh, what's his name who made seven, but uh, uh, Rob remember. Zombie. Rob Zombie. It's actually <laughs> it's actually uh, uh, what's his name? Fucking Nine Inch Nails that does the music for that. Uh, Trevor. Um, Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor. I always say Trevor, Trevor. Trevor Reznor. No, Trent Reznor. Always I put those together and I say Trevor. Trezner. Trezner. <laughs> uh, David Fincher. David Fincher. Thank David you. Fincher. Forever. Yeah. All those movies yeah. have that kind of green, yellowy yeah. filter. Yeah. And this movie kind of has those same like browns and like. It has a lot of blue. Yeah, it feels like it's a. It feels like everything's cold. a lot of blue. Cold. You know? cold, cold. Everything's cold. Yeah, but I guess the seven movie is kind of warm. No, it's super and, like yeah, but it's, it's like warm and like it's California, like decaying, it's like yeah, like, yeah. like deserty, mossy. Yeah. And, like, but it's similar. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. but it it. it, it it you know it has its you know place yeah it's, absolutely it's emoting a tone it, mm-hmm. it has its place and we're gonna find its place where yeah. is it right after the break <laughs> for movies please follow follow us on itunes and instagram give us a rating a review we'd love it we love to hear about it and, and hear about you and if you have any layers tell me uh, hair club tell four me what you had for four. lunch today hair club the i want to know four. movies <laughs> tell us what movies you're at watching gmail. Right now. Mm-hmm. com. did you like baby driver i did yeah did you hate spider-man i did <laughs> no i didn't and uh, maybe sometime soon we'll be coming out with some different kind of uh, products for you. Yeah. Well, just free products. Free. free. Like this. They're always free. Yeah. Well, it's not really free. They're always free because not we free can never us. get anyone to pay money for it. We're really the only ones that spend. But that's how it is. <laughs> it is how it is. You got to spend um, money to lose you gotta money. Have money fun. To, you got to spend money to lose money. Yeah, spend money to have fun. That's true. Uh-huh. Spend money to lose money. Yeah. <laughs> much so the way it goes about Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. What was your uh, some of your favorite parts? Well, the honestly the dialogue just if it's not like a, a scene of the movie, it's the dialogue itself. How how it, like compelling these two characters are and how they work together. Mm-hmm. Like Clary uh, <clears throat> Clarice, this whole <laughs> <movie. laughs> Clarice, like Clarice, is, Clarice, Claire, it's Clarice. Her name, her name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Clarice. her name is Claire Reese. Claire, 
Reese. Reese uh-huh. Witherspoon. Yeah. Claire Reese Witherspoon. Uh-huh. Anyway, she she is an interesting character because I mean mm. Mm-hmm. 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 She this whole movie is like this vulnerable ass like lamb almost. Like she's I don't think that's the metaphor she, at all. It, no, quiet. that's not the metaphor. I'm I'm, I'm blaming that metaphor. She's finally metaphor. quiet because she's she, like I solved it. <laughs> no. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you'll notice while watching this whole movie that every time she enters her room, there's like either two or three guys like all going. Oh yeah, and like, oh, yeah. I, and like one of my one, like being predatory on her. Yeah, all but the guys she, in this movie are creeps. Every oh, single one of them, even the, the ones that are kind of lame. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Single. One of them. And she is like, I mean, I'm not trying to throw out this amazing but, metaphor. But I see saying, what you're saying here. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm imagining, like, a room, like, cartoon wolves, like, all taller exactly. than this tiny lamb. Exactly. Like, exactly. All like in the black. Kind of, and yeah. then she's oh, somehow the most comfortable with Hannibal Lecter. Like, the, 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 well, she's, the craziest. She's not, though. Well, not comfortable. She is scared. I'm not saying yeah. that she's, like... She's just buddies with him. Everyone else in this whole movie is, like, trying to, like, basically fuck this woman. Mm-hmm. And he... Well, she's not eater, blinded but... by her raging boner. Exactly, yeah. It's, it, well... There's some truth yeah. to that. I'm serious, like, yeah. she, every time she talks with Hannibal Lecter, she's almost like, you know, glad that she can finally have some sort of not want to fuck mm-hmm. me conversation with but someone. But he wants to, he, but he wants, wants to, to eat her. fucking eat him. Yeah, that's yeah, true. because that's the same thing for maybe him. Maybe it's so, such a, <laughs> such <laughs> like a relief that it's a different feeling, even if it's the I want to eat you feeling. Yeah. That, you know, she's like, oh, I can finally talk to someone. <laughs> yeah. She, I mean, she doesn't, because she's even, naive enough to not get it. Even well, her Maybe boss, she's so focused on getting information from the guy. Yeah, that's, that's what true. I'm saying. It, may, it like changes her whole outlook on the thing. That's true, yeah. I she's know, I like a fucking, that... she's studious and she's not fucking around. Yeah, yeah, like that's one thing we learned right off the bat. She's hardworking. Yeah. She's like trying, she's, she's dedicated. already like a great student at the mm-hmm. academy. Driven. Um, Her dad died. We, why we, uh, is it that they chose Clarice? Is it just because oh, she was such an ex- excellent? Oh, it's because it was no, the, it Hannibal was, Lecter yes. figures it out right away. Yes, because they know that she would be enticing. Yeah, for yes, him. exactly. Yeah. And it's also like, what's the relationship exactly with? the director guy because there's kind of like a uh, he's also kind of a creep he's that's a creep the FBI, but she's like yeah. kind of pining like it's kind of what like what are you talking about the director the guy like the guy the, I'll look the it FBI up. director guy oh FBI director yeah, yeah. he wants to fuck her too yeah that's what but it's like, like it but, seemed, not, but not like outright no, but it's not I don't know if it's, it seems like she kind of I don't understand their relationship is it supposed to be like he's she looks up to him or like they is it like supposed to be romantic I don't no I mean well there's undertones the of it only, all, I think. The only reason we start to think it is is because Hannibal says, do you think he fantasizes about no, you? No, I think that like because that. of the way they interact in the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are just scenes where they're, at the end, like, yes, Jack it's like Crawford. Exactly. Jack Crawford, yeah. yes. He, I mean, it's just supposed to be a fact that, and it is because Jodie Foster's hot, but like, she... Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. So be it. But her well, it's character... it's not like over-the-top unrealistic. Do you know what I mean? They're not... She's... Whoa. She's yeah. attractive. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Like, I'm still, doing a bit. Play... <laughs> 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 well, he's he's clearly not, like, being a douche about it, but it's just supposed to be a thing that this is a very attractive woman, and well, everyone's... I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to that. understand their relationship is all I'm saying. It's like... I just... It's it's a professional. It's, yeah, it's professional. But with, you could see un- underlying there with is some an underlying. This would be there. nice if we didn't work together, kind of thing. Sure, That's he's like kind of an old dude though, too. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Well, he's That's pretty young. What, what about the um, the Ish. the insect experts? Are they uh, entomologists? And mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, I think. The the guys. Do you know the one that was the like one that's cross eyed? Oh, yeah, 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 I know. And I, I, I guys, aren't those weird? same characters in the X Files? I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> that's, I haven't what seen much X Files. They even had the spin off series. There's a spin off series that focused on the nerds. Oh, really? Yeah, it's yeah. Crossover. You know what I'm talking about? I know who. Like you know. Okay, oh, I'm glad man. you had that same feeling because it's just, <laughs> it, but it's just like a. I thought it was just even the same actors. Like. Maybe. The Lone Gunman. The Lone Gunman. That was the name of it. That's what they yeah. Don't uh, worry. It doesn't look like the same I wonder, actors, but it well, does, I know what you mean. I do think some of them might be the same. Well, well this this kind of wide-faced man. Wide-faced <laughs> man. Let me see. <laughs> this guy. 
Oh, I guess no, not. No, no. no. But you know what I'm talking. They are. Oh, yeah. They're always they, in a dark room. They like, serve as the same. As the, they uh, would the play. Information they would guys. play chess with bugs for sure. Just yeah. like yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. These They're like quirky. Would. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you had that. that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> Playing chess with bugs. A freak um, out. I hate bugs. So I hate what? Big bugs. So what's your, your I favorite hate part? Big bugs, and I cannot lie. <laughs> My name is Andrew. I'm a guy. Uh, <laughs> You say, My favorite part, part, well, I I, uh, I wrote that the scariest shot was Buffalo Bill's n- nipple ring. Yeah. That's definitely the scariest shot. Scary? The scariest thing in the whole movie, because yeah. I don't think this movie's scary at the fuck all. What? Really? It just might as well be fucking Law and Order. This movie's a... Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's... I think it's... I mean... It's it's about sure the, it's unsettling, but even like the goriest things in the movie, like when he tears off the face and shit, is like it's kind of I could see. No, that's it. not the scariest thing in the movie. The scariest thing is this this feeling of like yeah, see, this whole you're talking world about is feelings and shit. No, well, okay. I don't think Seven is a scary movie either. It's unsettling, sure, but I think you you. You see a strict divide between suspense and horror. Yes. Wow. To me, I think a really great suspense film can can, also be a horror film. Yes. But I feel like tension and uh, fear are not the same because tension is anxiety. And for me, that's Mm -hmm. not, I'm scared. That's. I think a really good film will, they do it hand in hand. Yes. They work together to build that. But I wouldn't call Mm -hmm. this a horror movie. This is a. This is just a, because this of is a crime. Just movie. because, just because of other movies. Well, no, but because the, making the a, main making a supernatural claim on the horror. But like, here's my, listen, like J, the Jake Thra- uh, like slasher the, movies, it. ghost movies <laughs> are horror movies <laughs> because it's, it's rarely like we're trying to figure this out. Well, that's what yeah. I mean. Like, that's the, the thing that makes it not a horror, horror movie. Horror doesn't just have to be a supernatural like. No, yeah, I agree. Antagonist kind of movie. I agree. Like home invasions, horror, The Strangers. That's a fucking horror movie. Yeah, yeah. because it's just like. A vo- you're a voyeur on this thing that's happening. Uh-huh. Whereas this movie, it's it's a procedural. This Maybe it's woman, because there's so many. This breaks character from is it. trying to figure out this case. It is. That's what this story is about. Yeah. It just happens to deal with some grotesque shit. I agree with yeah. you. I guess. And yeah. that's why I don't think it's a horror movie. It's just a fucking. I just think. Crime. I think it's definitely fe- a horror movie. The feeling. I think the but that's is, <laughs> semantics. Yeah. I just think the feeling that like that that you that you share with Clarice that this entire world is somehow. Overshadowed by this, just this deep, like right. loss I mean, of innocence. But I mean, a like, lot when of she movies, first sees the dead body, I think might be like Insomnia. We watched that movie. Yeah. Yes, this movie and Insomnia are kind of the same movie to me. It's no, a, I get I get a much more scared, a visceral feeling from yeah. Silence of the Lambs than I do Insomnia. But why? Why? Beca- because because well, you I do see grotesque stuff. Because they talk about the 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 mutilation. And the fact that, that Rob Williams is a fucking child, fucking creep, and he killed a girl. Yes, I'm just saying. Hey, but he's not as much a focus of the film. Uh, in this, it's more about characterizing. Even like Hannibal Lecter isn't a an antagonist the entire film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that's what makes this film so interesting is that he. They really do have to work it's, with it's the guy way you, exactly evil, it's the it's the, the way you have to walk down. right next to them, and the fact that they don't know who Buffalo Bill is. She has this feeling that this could be fucking anyone, and every time these wolves that are staring at her body, yeah. like when she goes into her room, she's like, "What if it's one of them?" Like it's this this feeling of like, of having you know some like a stalker right next to you, or like having yeah. to work with a fucking psychopath. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't disagree no with, with any with any of these points. It's just yeah. the I wouldn't call this that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Well, my favorite part is mm-hmm. when, <laughs> <Aaron> <laughs> is, <laughs> when yeah, Hannibal yeah. Lecter is delivered to the Memphis airport and he meets with oh, the senator. You know what that is? That's kind of the that well that the to seminal. me is like the crux, the like the most iconic scene of the mm-hmm. whole movie. It's so exciting and that's when like the excitement really comes to a head. Yeah. You know what I'm talking Wait, about? Wait, yeah, which part? When the he's got the famous hanger. Hanger. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, on the yeah. hand yeah, yeah, truck yeah. and he, yeah. 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 And he says that horrible thing to the mother about yeah. like where will you feel Where will it tickle you? Yeah, oh, exactly. Boy. 
Yeah. Oh man, that mm. I think it to me it really is scary. And when Clarice in the climax, when she's in the basement, I find that whole thing horrifying. Yeah, every room she goes into, she finds and yeah. new, another like just well. That's the thing is, there are elements of horror in it. Yeah. There are scenes yeah. of horror, you know, but mm-hmm. I don't oh, think that's the overall. Like when genre. he's like yeah. lowering the basket to the girl in the well, mm-hmm. oh. and the light comes up, and she sees the claw marks and the broken yeah, fingernails. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking scary that as hell to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now it's I mean, they, yes, but I don't know. It's <laughs> it's more than that, though. It's more than a that, horror movie. Well, I it get is. it. That, that's it's fair. a hyphenate. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's a great you're mystery right. film as well. Yeah, yeah. on yeah. top of being like scary. the first time I saw this before I knew that like when she makes when she makes the discovery that he's a tailor. Uh huh. That the first time I saw that I was like, what? What's he doing? Like I thought he was just skinning people because he liked it. And yeah. then when I feel like he, when I found out he's making a fucking woman suit, like, mm-hmm. God damn it. Like, She's a great big fat person. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's the best line. In wow. The that was good. That wasn't that good. That no, was that was a good Buffalo Bill. Okay. Impersonation. We're both from Indiana. Isn't he from Indiana? Ah, uh, yeah. I think so. Uh, no, it was Chicago, I thought. Oh, really? I well, always get Illinois. confused because in Joe Dirt, if you've seen it, <laughs> there's Buffalo Bob. <laughs> it was just like a, it's like a, a complete mate, bite, yeah. and it, he's in Indiana, so I was like... Oh, I see. Oh, but it's somewhere in the Midwest. Um, That's interesting. I actually saw this when I was way too young to see it. Same. Really? Yeah. Along with every other horror movie. But, I don't know if I could have watched a movie like this. Yeah, I mean, I think... When I was young. I, was, it did, I think it, it I watched like, this movie with my mom, up. probably. It was good, though, really? like... Yeah. I don't know. I think in some ways, if your kid's mature enough to handle it... Like, or not. Yeah. <laughs> It'll not. completely don't stunt to you me. emotionally <laughs> like me forever. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't even handle Dark Crystal when I was a kid. I couldn't. I don't think I could. That shit was so fuck. Never Ending Story and all those like puppet movies mm-hmm. were like the coolest shit. To yeah, me. yeah. I can see how they're scary. I mean, I'm a, I'm a scared. Just the Dark of Crystal. I watched the Never Ending so. Story and was like, the drag. Like, yeah, Falcor is kind of not like really a lot of scary like, stuff. It's the mo- the saddest scene maybe ever caught on film is mm-hmm. in that the Never Ending Story. Did it betray you? The, the horse fucking betray you? Yeah. I mean, come on. That's I haven't probably seen that in a long time. you just show that. I haven't that, seen it in a long time either. Ooh, it's just I, a horse, dr- horse slowly our, uh, drowning into a fucking tar pit. Yeah. It's like the worst thing in the world. That, and there's no way they could save that too much, oh too. Yeah. So I don't think they could have done that. They actually today. messed it up the first time. They had to kill two horses. Yeah, <laughs> and they just but they just buried it in the log because that was a natural occurring pit. It's actually just a bunch of already melted horses that yeah. they put another horse. It's in. horse blood, so they can just keep brown. going and shit. No, it's and glue. All of the yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's the like brown glue before they dye it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 To get that more friendly look. Have I talked it. about this before? You ever think how fucked up it is? The El- the the like icon, the mascot for Elmer's glue is a cow. Is a, is a cow. <laughs> Probably because they it can't be a horse. That's for sure. It could be a horse, but the ca- cows. Why do you think it's a cow? Is because, it because they still use cor- hooves. No, it's milk. It looks like milk. That's why. Because <laughs> that's why kids drink it because they think it's yeah. Milk. That's those bastards. They're trying to kill us. I always saw it because they they use hooves, so they're like. It's not a horse, but it's close enough. It's a cloven. Animal. That's what I meant. Like yeah. I thought they're just you know they can't if they we put can't a horse, put a horse. They put a horse right. That's too dark. That's too dark. Too dark. Yeah. This is what it is, kids. Yeah. Anyway, it's like in your school bag. So I think we're. What do we uh, rate that one? That's a Drew plus, hands huh. down. See, this is a time when I wish we had more of a, a gradient minutia to our. Scale. We've had that. We just our past movie was the gradient. What? Yeah. The gradient. Lords of Arabia. Oh, what was it? Well, this is going to be a triple Drew, but the last one oh, was okay, Arabia was that. the gradient. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess I'll give it a, a Drew minus. Why? Because after watching it again, it's like, like it is it is hyped as like one of the scariest movies. And you have... No, not anymore. It's one of the... It, like, yeah, it's, but the, yeah, it's fine. hyped you know, as a great movie, not a scary movie. But... Okay. Uh, I'll let you... I mean, it's yours. It's what it's the only problem that I have with it is that it, it's peop, it's scary, but it's not fucking scary. I don't know. I wish it were built differently, and that mm-hmm. I have problems with it because it's like you're just desensitized by all these jump scares. You watch The Ring too much. Mm-hmm. You're watching. I fucking hate that movie. That's <laughs> shit. I watched the fucking A Clockwork Orange when I was like twelve. That's the problem. I understand yeah. what you're saying, but I don't wholly agree with it. I agree well, with parts. Good. That's well, what I, have, I, I rate this movie a Drew. Yes. Drew minus. Come on. I just got... I have minor... Come on. <laughs> he <laughs> likes the movie. I like the movie. <laughs> um, All right. 3Ds. Cool. Triple D. Triple hey, D's. Hey, Triple D, babe. All right. Anyway. But, uh, 
It's definitely... I'll, my first clue is that it's absolutely not Silence of the Lambs. It's a very oh, happy Oh, okay. Movie. It's a very... But also about lambs. No. Babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, what if you just got that stuff? Oh, my God. Black sheep. <laughs> no, it's a, very, it's a very happy movie. Oh, yeah. The zombie sheep. Black sheep, no, that's... No, not, not the... That's David Spade. Yeah, that one, but there's a black, other black sheep. It's, there's a movie it, called In black Scotland, sheep. it's like a B-horror movie, and it's about uh-huh. zombie sheep. Cool. It's like a comedy horror. That's movie. cool. It's terrible. That's funny. Uh, this movie is directed by Mel Stewart. I don't okay. think either of no. you guys know uh, who that is. Tony, Tony Stewart's brother, Mel. <laughs> uh, this is based on a book by Ronald Dahl. Or Rold Dahl? Ronald Big Dahl. Fish? No, but I'm surprised. Uh, okay, good. I'm glad that didn't that didn't just give it away right off the bat either. This is based on a book, and shot uh, and filmed in Germany, and the movie itself takes place in Germany. But that's kind of a red herring. No guesses. The witches. No. Ooh. No. Nice. This is a musical. As well. So, the sound of music. That's a good guess, actually. <laughs> Set in Germany. <laughs> Set and filmed in Germany. Well, Austria. But um, this has elaborate, expensive sets spanning the entire movie. Um, fuck. At the beginning of the movie, there is a worldwide contest to determine who takes over the chocolate. Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Charlie the yeah. new one or Willy the old one? It's the 1970. It's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. I was, <laughs> isn't that Rolled Doll? It's yeah, not it's Ronald. Rolled. It's Rolled Doll. Why did you R-O-A-L-D. Like, rolled? Yeah. Look it up on Wikipedia. He's got a it's not name. Ronald Doll. <laughs> yeah, Ronald Doll. I could have sworn it said Ronald. He did like all that shit. He did fucking Willy Wonka. He did... Uh, did you do the BFG? Yeah, he did. He did fucking... Rolled Doll. The Witches, Oh my yeah. god, I have dyslexia. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you probably would've got it. I only know that because... No, I, said that no, I, Those was, I, was, like I was not on that track, okay. so I wouldn't have got okay. it. Okay, all right. Rolled Doll. You yeah. didn't read all of those books when you were a kid? No. No, I just... I oh. forgot about Willie. Yeah, Wonka. I was trying yeah. to... Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. I, I was pick, like, for some reason I was thinking good, of like medieval a, times. That's a real good solid solid pick right yes, there. Yes, I'm surprised we haven't picked that. Already. That's what I meant. Like I was like, we need to watch. We this like movie. miss the big ones, the big, but that's good. Well, because we're trying to show each other ones that like we yeah. haven't either have. It's nice seen to have a mix. We got to have the trail mix. <laughs> we got to have the <laughs> this fucking is the, the, the Gardettos that expected. aren't just the riot chips, like the pretzels and the fucking. Oh, you talking yeah. chips? Yeah, I'm talking about Gardetto. Fuck those pretzels, though, right? <laughs> pretzels, pretzels are fine, but the rye chips, the rye chips are awesome. are the fucking jam, yeah, yeah, Jimmy absolutely. Jam, yeah. The oh, chips. the whole thing. They make a whole bag of rye chips, which is superfluous, I think, because it is. If you eat after you eat that, eat it's gonna, you can't taste anything. Yeah, if you I know. Because the bought salt before. just like turns your tongue into a fucking. Yeah. You need sponge. you need the mix, yeah, like a you sea sponge. Mix. Yeah. All you right, ever had toasted cool. chips mix? With, like, mixed in with some peanuts, like, homemade mm. style. Oh, yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. Awesome. You remember when fucking you could only get a uh, puppy chow, like, homemade, and now they mm. fucking make it? It's called, like, Dude, Muddy really? Buddies bullshit. Uh, puppy yeah. chow. What's puppy chow again? Oh, it's just When checks. people bring puppy chow to a party. That's it's like, no, it's chow. on. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just the checks. <laughs> just the checks with melted chocolate and powdered sugar. I kind of, yeah. Nothing, I think I've had that before. But then you put it in, like, a... Always got it in those, um... Uh, giant um, animal cracker yeah. Tub, ba- yeah. bear things, yeah. you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. Man. Fuck, yeah. You can make your own Chex Mix, too. My dad's... Yeah, and you before. should make your own Chex Mix. Because yeah. mm-hmm. it's... You don't need to... You, you can, can do anything yeah. you want. You don't need to put raisins in that do, shit. You don't have to throw out the raisins because uh, you don't put the raisins in. Well, there's no <laughs> raisins in Chex Mix. Good. You're thinking about trail mix. Good. Get it out of there. Here's the problem with trail mix is it's the best thing... But they always they fuck it up by putting in goddamn raisins. No, ra- you need the raisins. I like the raisins. Give, no, me, a need fr- the raisins. give me a different fruit. Any other thing. You can't. Oh, that's that's the only dried, dried fruit. fruit. Yeah, give me a dried good. cranberry. I don't even like cranberries, but I'll eat a dried cranberry. Fine, dried blueberries. What do you have against raisins? Uh, they're just, I just don't like them. I like <laughs> grapes. <laughs> I, I just can't fuck with raisins. Mm. I don't know what it is. I don't, the, I'm not going to eat a box secret of ingredients. Own, for, the secret ingredient in Dr. Pepper is prune juice. Yeah. There's like a bunch of weird no. shit. Yeah. 23 flavors, baby. It's not prunes, though. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it is. 
Yeah, nope. you yes, can't trick me this time. <laughs> you can't trick me this time. But there's all kinds of weird flavors. It is. I know, but not prune juice. Yeah, yeah, dog. Did you know they maybe, used to serve Dr. No, like, Pepper hot? Not like prune juice. Maybe they used to serve yeah. it hot. They not still used do it to in the south. In the south. Oh my god. We must have heard that in the same place. Wait, now, well, maybe now I, I believe you. Yeah, you can go to like gas stations allegedly. I want to find this mm-hmm. somewhere in the wild, but you can go to gas stations and like coffee. Where do they serve Dr. Pepper? Hot Dr. Pepper. Where did, but, like, South, where do they serve? At, like, a gas station where you go to get coffee. There's, like, an attendant that just serves mm-hmm. you with? No, no, no. Like, you go to fucking, like, you get co- gas station coffee, you know? And that There's, like, a Dr. Hot. Pepper. T- t- yeah, that yeah. Just hot. Oh, it's, like, hot tea, but it's Dr. Pepper. Yeah. That's some white trash I can't right believe there. I didn't know that before. Ah, uh, hell, we ran out of coffee. Judy, will you boil some Dr. Pepper? Like, that's how it has to, had to have Is started. it caffeinated? It's Dr. Pepper. Is it caffeinated? Yes. Okay. It's cola. Okay. The it's f- cola. Even if it's not Coffee. caffeinated, it's definitely Dr. is. Pepper, but it's what's full of- the difference? <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. It's, it's all the a, same. It's it's boil it. Pop. Help. Boil up some Gatorade for the kids. <laughs> we ain't gotten a tea. <laughs> <laughs> like that's essentially essentially what the fuck it is. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well. Cool. Well can't done. Wait to eat Dim yeah. in the Chocolate River. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, like I mean, it's everyone's favorite movie. What was not, it? Not favorite movie. Was it but R. Kelly that put out the album? I know you guys are definitely the people to ask about <laughs> R. Kelly albums, but I, Chocolate Factory, I think that was R. Kelly. Well, oh and God, then the sequel it. is Drowning in the Chocolate River. Is it, was it really uh, Drowning in the Chocolate Pool? You think it's a metal band? Drowning oh, Pool. Okay. It's actually about. It's about I know a fact it's about about that I looked on IMDb that apparently the chocolate it. river did have real chocolate in it and real cream, but it was mostly water. Probably smelled like shit. And that was the fact that like after like two days of shooting, it smelled like garbage. And Augustus Gloop has to go... Yeah, people got in, in that people shit. People got in that shit. Wow. Yeah. You know people were... I wonder how many people ate acid. But I mean, think set. about it. You can't just color water. Just the director. You would have to, you would have to make <laughs> a weird true. ass Who is the director? Well, we I got a, we got a whole episode. We got to Ooh, talk about Mel Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Gene Wilder only works with people named Mel, I guess. If it's not Mel, I'm in hell. <laughs> That's not. It's nice. the hair club. Hey, do Gene Wilder. Wow. Wow. I think that was the best episode we've ever done. Definitely the best, for sure. All right.